Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And today we're doing our match review for Manchester United versus Arsenal um, in a must win game, um, to be honest. Um, especially after today, Tottenham have won, Liverpool have won, Chelsea have won, um, and I'm assuming City are going to win when they, when they basically batter Everton next. Um, so all the potentially fans the top four are, are, have already won. Arsenal and and United are essentially like a, the the banter FCs at the moment with our away and our inconsistency performance. So that Arsenal certainly have the strongest squad. Um, do I think United can win? It's possible. I can't remember the last time Arsenal um, did beat Manchester United. Um, it was in two thousand seven six. I think last time Manchester United actually lost to Arsenal at home at Old Trafford. However, this is a very different Manchester United team. Um, a very weakened Manchester United team um, and an inexperienced manager. Um, so I think it's going to be difficult, if I'm honest. A lot of this will depend on how social tactically sets up. We've already been told that um, that Martian Pogba and Rashford, obviously, um, I'm sure was there. Not all of them are not going to be fit um, for Arsenal. Now, four of those players, frankly, are basically United starting eleven. Um, so without them... Um, we're left for reinforcements to come in. Um, that means that presumably Mason Greenwood is going to start. Um, Matt and Matic will probably come in and Young will come in as well. Um, do you think that's a strong enough team to beat Arsenal home? I don't know, especially with the likes of, you know, Aubameyang and Pepe and Torreira and Ceballos, sorry, Ozil. You know, Arsenal have many options, many attacking options. I mean, even last season when we went to Emirates, it was Xhaka, although I don't rate Xhaka, that actually scored one of the winning goals. Um... So this is going to be difficult on United and, to, and there's a lot of pressure on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his team to deliver because, frankly, if we lose this game, we're going to be in the bottom half of the table um, and we're going to be some number of points off top four at the end, at the end of this. You know, possibly maybe um, seven points off top four, you know. Um, so we're creepingly, creepingly getting to the place where we were last season where Mourinho was, what, I think 10 or 11? 11 maybe, 12 points off top four before he was sacked? You know, if we don't beat Arsenal Old Trafford, you know, we're going down that way. We are. Um, yes, I think Liverpool got lucky. Yes, I think that Spurs even got a bit lucky. But at the end of the day, the, the win's a win. I don't care if we put 10 men behind the ball, lob it up and get a one goal in the 90th minute, as long as you pick up the three points. Um, so anyway, without further ado, here's what I think the lineup will actually be. Um, so as you can see, obviously, David here um, in goal, standard. Um Maguire and Lindelof um, as the two centre-backs. I think that's going to change, although I do think that Axel Twensi we should get a bit of a sniff. Um, Wan-Bissaka, I think, is, is fit, so he'll come at right back. And obviously, with no Dallow and no Shaw, Ash Young is going to come in at, le at left-back and do a job. Um, and to be fair to Ash Young, he hasn't played that badly since he's come, he's come in. Um, I think, you know, with a lot of these older players, you know, yes, I think seniority is important, So, but I think if they're actually given rest... Um, then I think that, that can maybe potentially help the performance of them playing in all the time because, you know, you know they're going to get time on the office. They shouldn't, you know, Ashley Young, Matter and Matic, you know, I believe if they're going to play, they shouldn't certainly shouldn't be playing any more than 60 minutes because I just don't think they have that in them to really go to, especially with tenacious teams. Anyway, moving forward, we've got McTominay and Matic. I think he's, he is going to play two holding midfielders because really I don't think we're going to be able to beat Arsenal in the midfield um, unless, like, Xhaka has a very terrible game um, and David Luiz is playing, um, I think that we are going to have um, difficulties dealing with their front three and their midfield. So he's probably going to put two holding midfielders in McTominay and Matic. Fred, I guess, is an option, and I put and rather Fred and McTominay, um, but I just have a feeling he's going to start with, with, with Matic, um, even though, although Matic hasn't been played incredibly badly when he's come in, um, he's not been particularly impressive either. And, you know, with him especially, there's a lot of sideways passing. Um, in front, so obviously the three. So in front, and on the three, I think Mata should go in the number 10. I think that's what he, what he might do, or he might put Lingard there. But, you know, I've always said that Mata is better as, as a number 10 in terms of creativity and, what have you, and helping to create chances. Um, I don't think he's a right winger, um, and I think if, if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is fortunate enough to put Matt on the right wing, 
I think it's going to give Wan Bissaka a lot of problems in terms of coming in to defend, etc. So he really should play Wan Mata um, in the middle. Uh, Lingard, I mean, you have the same problem with Lingard as well. Lingard can has the pace to to do it. Um, Lingard likes to cut inside, looks and cut inside to the central on the right. He always likes to do that. Um, but he needs to be careful because he needs to help Wan Bissaka in the right back position. Um, if it was up to me, I would have dropped Lingard, but again, there's no, because his form has been awful, um, but there, there's no one to come in unless you play green with the right wing position, but I just have a feeling Lingard is going to play regardless anyway. It could be up top, it could be number 10, it could be the, be, be the um, right position, who knows. Um, so we've got Daniel James as a left, um, and game no Marshall Rashford, left winger wise, um, Daniel James um, will step up. I mean, he, that is his natural position, the left, and it'll be good to see him from the start on that position and just trying to sort of do some do some stuff, so that's good. Um, he has scored three goals, I think, which is probably more than anyone from open play, so um, so hopefully he can add to his tally against Arsenal, whose defence is quite shaky. Um, and then lastly, but not least, like Mason Greenwood. Now, you know, I would think it'd be an absolute travesty if I see on Monday that Mason Greenwood's on the bench an absolute travesty because then essentially what what all he's doing is saying right I'm ripping the manual out I'm just going to go with experienced old players not unlike Mourinho you know if you kept these we've played at the club because you wanted them to play then likes of Mason Green which should definitely be starting when your front two strikers in Rashford and uh, Marshall are out of injury and Lukaku has been sold to Inter Milan you know so they don't really have any options and Sanchez obviously as well, so talking about they don't have that many options. So Mason Greenwood has to lead the line. Um, and hopefully he can do a good job. Um, but let me know what you think, guys. Um if I'm honest, um I'm quite pessimistic. Um I obviously want United and I want to be positive, but I just think Arsenal's team is just stronger than our current team right now. And the only reason why I'm going for a draw, I won one with Greenwood to score and Let's see, Greenwood to score and Abamian to score 1 1. The only reason I'm going with it is just because, um, Arsenal, for, because of history, because Arsenal have not beaten Manchester United out of Chelsea since 12 and 6. So I think it would be difficult for us to win it given our team, but I think, you know, I think getting a draw we can, we can certainly do. And obviously, a lot of these things are just dependent on what Arsenal's selection is. If when Emery plays Jacker again, if he plays Mustafi or um, David Luiz again, then we should have opportunities and we'll be able to create and we'll see what happens. Thanks for listening, guys. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.